So tomorrow we're going to have some nice footage. Good evening. I'm outside filming the moon. It's 3 a.m. And there's a clearing, so the moon is nice. And the Terminator line is in a different place. We're going to see more structures. I'll show that to you guys tomorrow. Well, when I take the telescope back inside, this is what I have to do. And I found a trick because I'm alone. Sometimes when my son is gone, obviously, I'm not going to run after my kid in the middle of the night to wake him up and help me. So I get the table straight, as you can see there. Now I'm unscrewing the front and rear clamp because this is almost 100 pounds, just the optical head. They got a big ass camera at the back of it, so it's uneven and the weight's trying to roll forward. So I'm holding it with the handle and now that the clamps are opened up, watch, there's not that much lifting that I have to do. I'm just going to wrap my arm around it and sort of just lift up my chest and it comes off alone. Now the cover's right down on a towel outside. So I bend down, I put the cover on right away ready to put away and then I go put it away in its box. So right there in the corner, not much traveling with it. Somebody asked me how I took it down. I said, I'm going to take the time to show you guys. This is the sound of ice as the temperatures were plunging. Listen to this. Look at move the telescope, the sound of a nail popping in the wood in the, on the deck. It moved the telescope, it's so cold. Isn't that crazy? It was so cold that night. I think, um, you know, as it was getting later, it started plunging down the temperatures. Still only about minus 17, but that's about the limit um, for a telescope. And of course, I wasn't out very long. I mean, it, this was like a 25 minute half an hour maximum session the time to set it up too because i'm getting fast now i could set it up completely entirely in about seven to ten minutes but don't forget there's three weights i have to put on that uh 75 pounds of weight to hold that head evenly because if not if the weights aren't on that optical tube when you're uh, turning left and right it's just so heavy the optical tube and that's what counterbalances it out those weights but I have to take the optical tube off taking it off is cool but putting it on is uh, another story just a bit harder and of course bend your knees right keep your back straight and put it up I, I just I go out there with it in my hands two hands and I just pop it on top okay I'm a big guy I, I got no problems with putting that up there but I'm telling you uh, <laughs> if you're a smaller guy uh, a smaller person um, it, it has nothing to do with being strong or not, I think. Um, uh, no, yeah, you have to be strong as an ox to get it up there um, and tighten the clamps if you're alone. You have to find a way to do that. But there's many ways, eh? There's some people online doing that um, with a cushion, bending it actually the plate downwards, sitting it on a bench and just um, wheeling up something or leaning the bench up to it, to the clamps and then lifting it upwards. But I don't like, you know, getting the optical tube up and down for nothing. I try to keep it level. And then I just sit it on the plate and that's, voila, that's what we got. So this is beautiful moon surface. Aristarchus Crater. See all the colors around it? And you can see the other patches of the same color that's in Aristarchus Crater. You know, everyone says, oh, Aristarchus Crater has a, you know, that, that area is so brown. Well, it's not the only area that's brown. There's so many areas that have the same surface as Aristarchus Crater when you're looking over, you know, the moon. What I'm really intrigued about, guys, look at this spot. Jeez, I can't get over it. Um, what I'm really intrigued about and I'm going to be watching very carefully is that the colors, the smaller lines, like cracks, that almost look like rivers, Maybe not. Obviously not. I'm just telling you guys. The cracks. That's I want you to know what I'm talking about. The little blue lines that some people say, oh, wow, it looks like rivers. Okay. Um, I'm seeing some of them change. So I want to know if it's, you know, what's changing of them. Why are they getting blue or more blue or less blue? Because I think it's pretty interesting 
to notice the little details. And we're going to be able to do that, guys, with a Nikon. Um, now, the D850, it's, it's a great camera. They looked like a bunch of UFOs floating, or the craters are floating up in the air, don't they? Kind of looks a little flat. Oh, they say the moon is shaped like an egg. Not quite, but... <laughs> The moon has color on it. Why wouldn't we show it? I don't care if people think it's, think it's filters. It's not. The moon is so colorful. NASA has admitted it. 
everyone has admitted it. It's just that everyone, for whatever the reason, shows the moon gray. Maybe it's heaven sent, the fact that this channel doesn't get into the mainstream. Because it should have. I'll tell you what, the people coming here, it's a real community. And that's what we're making here. And I'm reaching each person one at a time. And you guys are coming here to see the research. And it's a very private channel, very hidden channel. And that's okay. Maybe it will be here for a long time. If the world ain't ready for the truth, this community sure is.